Hey, quad bros. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another Quadro Quickie. If you guys haven't seen these types of videos before, the idea is that we're going to be quickly going through one of the more niche or advanced mechanics and enlisted, things that people typically don't know too much about, in a way to uh, just give that information and get it out to you guys. And today, that topic is going to be tank angling. Now, if you're a War Thunder Pro or World of Tanks veteran, you're going to know all about tank angling, and you're not going to get a whole lot out of this video. But if you're new to these types of games, it's going to be absolutely life-saving. And it's not a hard thing to do in any way at all. So tank angling is where we are going to angle our tank, and I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second, to decrease the angle of attack that an enemy is firing at us from, which is going to increase our effective armor. Again, that sounds kind of complicated, but it's, it's not too hard to understand if you can see it visually. So we can see here, this Tiger one, I can easily penetrate the side of its armor. It's easily uh, destroyed, and this is a kill shot from my T-3485. But as I drive forward, we're going to see it's going to turn yellow, and then inevitably it's going to turn red. This is because the angle of attack that I am firing at is getting further and further away from 90 degrees, and that is going to be increasing the effective armor of the vehicle. You can see the exact same thing happens here, except in reverse. I can't penetrate this Tiger at all from either the side or the front, but as I drive forward, we're going to see my crosshair is going to turn green. At least if I could fire at the front plate. Sorry, I'm on a hill. There we go. So you can see it turns green because I am closer and closer to that 90 degrees. So a vehicle like the Tiger is going to hugely benefit from angling, and in fact is one of the most important vehicles in the game to angle, because of the fact that vehicles like the T-3485 or the 76mm Sherman can't actually penetrate it when it is properly angled, making them essentially just a snack for the Tiger. So whenever you're using these big boxy vehicles that have decent side armor and decent frontal armor, always try to take advantage of angling. And really, you can angle in just about anything. Even my T-3485, I can take advantage of angling and maybe get a free shot. You could even do a little bit of a wiggle when someone shoots at you to throw off their aim, maybe get a little bit of an angled shot off um, and increase your effective armor. So if I was engaging this, you know, I mean, it's a King Tiger, so it's going to kill me in one shot no matter what. But imagine I was I was engaging this this Tiger too, right? I could, um, you know, if it was something else, I could, you know, just point the corner of my tank more or less at the enemy here and I should get at least a little bit more armor. And with the Tiger, it's even easier. You just point this this corner here at your enemy and you should be very very angled and very protected but you want to be careful with this because you never want to over angle if you over angle your tank you're going to be in for a very bad time if we think about the panther which has very high frontal armor but very low side armor angling is actually not that valuable if you angle in your panther all you're going to end up doing is exposing that side armor and you're not going to get enough benefit by angling uh, to really make up for the fact that you're easily exposing a very weak part of your armor. In a vehicle like the, the Panther, just point your front armor towards them. They're going to want to penetrate through your uh, turret cheeks anyway, so you're not really gaining anything by bothering to angle. And there's a couple vehicles that are like that, but the Panther is probably the most well-known. But that's really it, guys. You can see angling is not really that complicated of an idea. It's not something that's difficult to do. It's not even difficult to understand. It's just something that a lot of people don't know because it's, again, a pretty niche or advanced mechanic. And that's why we went over them in this video. So if there's anything that I missed about angling that you guys want to talk about or you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. And while you're down there, guys, like and subscribe, hit the bell, and turn on notifications so you can get more of these Quadro Quickies. But without anything else, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy.